Marvel is a high energy cat, so we'd have to find some ways to keep her busy. She usually gets her food from a robot feeder, but one of the ways we've tried to keep her more engaged is by using food puzzles. In this video, we're going to be reviewing six different food puzzles. First up, we want to compare with her regular feeding through the robot feeder. She usually knows when it's getting close to meal time, so she starts hanging around the robot and runs up to it immediately when she hears the food come out. I usually don't watch her eat, so it'll be interesting to see her methods. Marvel is very food motivated and she scarfs down the food in three and a half minutes. First up, we have the unassuming cup that you probably have lying around your house already. It's very easy to fill up and easy to clean. Stick around till the end for a direct comparison of how long it takes Marvel to finish each puzzle. Although this is a very simple one, Marvel doesn't like getting her paws dirty, so she really struggles with it. She'll give up and walk away and I think she's done, so I come check on it and there's still a bunch of food left, so I have to help her out a little. It doesn't show up on camera, but at one point she uses her paw in the handle of the cup to move it around. Something as simple as that becomes a puzzle and hones their natural foraging skills. We haven't used the cup as much, so I think she's a little out of practice and gives up a bit easier than she does with other puzzles. Marvel does get wet food once in a while, and we've done that with the cup, but she really doesn't like touching wet food with her paws, so she gave up pretty soon. Once we know she can handle a certain puzzle, we stop supervising her and just check in once in a while to see how she's doing. With some human assistance, she's able to finish in 9 minutes and 40 seconds. Next up, we have the Humble Muffin Tins. These are about $5 at Target. Very easy to fill up and clean. Marvel does pretty good with this one since she doesn't have to scoop it out with her paws. It just slows her down a little since she has to walk around it and get to the different pieces. She kind of bounces around between the different cups. Even though she hasn't finished all the pieces in one, she'll go to the next one and come back and circle around. I do not even pretend to understand what goes on inside her head. It's surprising that by splitting up the food using a muffin tin or something like an egg carton, it prolongs the amount of time it takes for her to eat by a lot. If you have a cat that eats really quickly and then throws up, this is a quick and cheap solution. With no paws involved, she finishes in 5 minutes and 54 seconds. Our first actual cat food puzzle is the Whisker City Rolling Treat Dispenser. This one is kind of a pain to fill up and to clean, but it's pretty fun for Marvel to do. This is the first puzzle feeder we ever bought, and Marvel's always had a tough time with this one. Since she has had the longest practice, I think she's a little better than she would be otherwise. Sometimes we have to help her out, and I think that's okay. That's been the case with a lot of the more difficult puzzle feeders. In the beginning, just to build her confidence, we kind of do the puzzle for her, and as she starts to understand how it works, she becomes more independent with it. We do this puzzle on a clean IKEA shoe mat. This helps keep the mess contained, but even with it, she ends up rolling the ball off the mat once in a while, and we have to come put it back on. This one is ideal for Marvel, since she can roll it around with her paws and then eat the food directly with her mouth. I think she only gives up once or twice. There is a balance to be struck between how difficult it is for the human to set up the puzzle and how difficult it is for the cat to complete it. This ball is a bit too annoying for us to set up. Keeping in mind that this is one of the most difficult puzzles and she has had the most practice with it, she finishes at 9 minutes and 41 seconds. We start to get a little bit more advanced and expensive with the Pet Stages Buggin' Out puzzle. Not too difficult to fill up, but it is a pain to clean. There are screws in the back that you can open up if you want to get a deeper clean. This puzzle is set up to have three different stages, as you can fill in the treats directly into the dips, or you can cover them with a leaf, you can cover them with a ladybug. You can also put it under the ladybug so that the cat has to slide the ladybug over the dip and then back to be able to get the treat. 
I have done this with wet food before. It worked out fine for Marvel to eat, but it was very difficult to clean afterwards. This was one of our earlier food puzzles too, so Marvel's had a lot of practice with it, and she finishes it without too much difficulty. She doesn't give up with this one anymore, but sometimes she thinks she's done because she just missed one of the holes. The buggin' out puzzle is also on the side of a bit too much work for the human to set up. I do like it for its versatility. With its multiple levels, it's a good starting product to introduce your cat to puzzles. Pet Stages also makes a couple other iterations, and we'd love to try them out in the future. With minimal assistance, she finishes in 9 minutes and 29 seconds. This is one of our favorites, the Trixie Strategy Game Tunnel. It's very easy to load up, and it takes Marvel a long time to do. Marvel spends the first few seconds of this one debating whether or not she even wants to do it. She waits until I walk away to begin. Something like this could be placed under a raised robot feeder, and the food could dispense directly into this puzzle feeder. Marvel did give up once or twice with this one and needed a bit more encouragement. She usually has more left over in the tunnels that angle upwards rather than the flat ones. Those are a bit more difficult since she has to pull them out against gravity and they'll slide back in sometimes. I've realized she has a similar method with all the puzzles where she moves around between the different parts. It's interesting that she doesn't just finish every piece of food she sees in one area before moving on to the next. Another thing to think about is how you're going to store all of the food puzzles. The ones up till now were small or flat. This one takes up a lot of space and only the top part screws off, so it's not very compact. We live in an apartment with a good amount of storage, so it's not that big of a problem for us. We keep all of the puzzles in the pantry and they take up a sizable corner. Marvel is a pretty high maintenance cat. We have to do a lot to provide an outlet for her energy. The size of your cat and their age could also determine which puzzle is better if they don't like leaning down or if they can't fit into the holes. We got the pause involved again, so it takes her 11 minutes and 17 seconds. Now we have the Trixie Mad Scientist Turnaround Puzzle. It's got a lot of moving parts and Marvel hasn't figured out the turnaround, so we just use the bottom spikes. The bottom is pretty easy to load up and to clean. This one can be taken apart. You can remove the tubes so that you have only the bottom. The tubes also come with two different caps. We had the smaller cap on it right now, but it also has the bigger cap. It's important to understand what level your cat is at, so you can start with the simpler puzzles and see how they handle it. We also know that Marvel doesn't like puzzles where she has to use her paws to touch the food itself. Knowing your cat's personality can help you pick the right puzzle toy for them. So you can see she gives up many times with this one and I have to redirect her, help her a little. With all of these, it's the same time of day and she had had the same amount of food during the rest of the day. So her performance with the puzzle feeder shouldn't be influenced by how hungry she is. I do think the space between the spikes might be a little too small for her paws. Trixie does make a similar dog version of this. That might be a better fit for Marvel. This is our newest purchase, and she has had the least amount of time with this one, so it makes sense that she gets frustrated the most. If I wasn't filming this for the time lapse, I would have just sat down with her and slowly helped her get each piece so that she understands how the puzzle works. She didn't so much as finish this one, but gave up after about 11 minutes. We just transferred the leftover food into her regular food bowl. As I said before, you can use the cup and the muffin tins for wet food. It goes better with the muffin tin since she can eat from it directly. As you might predict, Marvel takes longer to complete the puzzles when they're more complicated and more expensive. Each of these have their pros and cons as we discussed, so based on your cat's personality, you can decide which might be right for them. The times will also change as the cat gets more proficient with the puzzle. Let us know what other food puzzles you'd like to see Marvel try out. Remember to subscribe if you'd like to see the rest of this Marvel Playtime video.